two. Yes. Now you're in a different time or place, or I don't know how you yeah. want to word that. Yeah. Do you, Both of those things. <laughs> do you get stuck there? Or, I don't know. Maybe you can tell us. Do you get stuck there for most of the episode or most of the season, or? Uh, are you she will back be in the living in a different time for a little while. <laughs> You can interpret that. <laughs> yes. Now she's not immune, so how does that work? Because wouldn't now the virus is yeah. still rampant. Yeah, precautions are, are made. Yeah, are taken. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. It's just so. Ch- I'm being so cryptic. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know what I'm allowed. So okay. So you said on the panel that um, spoiler that you kind of start in season two having been in that time yes. period. Can yes. you tell us something? Well, actually, I can I can probably tell you this much. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. You. Why don't I let you no, no. do your question? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> well, the the very first episode will pick up where we left off. Okay. So we'll see the very beginnings of um, of that time and from that jump. So, and then starting in episode two, we'll see where things have progressed. So we're going to get kind of like flashbacks to what has... It won't be done in flashback form. I don't know how much I can um, give away, but no, we'll see. We'll pick up right where we left off and then we'll um, proceed forward. How, how difficult is it going to be for Cassandra um, at the beginning of the season in this new time and... Like, well, I don't, I mean, if if I know anything about her, she's resilient. She's a toughie, and she's smart. She knows how to adapt. So I think those um, qualities are going to fare her very well going forward. Must be nice to work. <laughs> <laughs> Read between whatever lines I'm able to draw. It must be nice to work with another woman, though. I mean, because a lot of your first season was... I mean, mainly the guys. Yeah. And now I had one episode are. with Barbara. Yeah. And I had a few little drop-ins with Emily. Yeah. And yeah. But now you're, you know, you're hanging out. Yeah. In the same time. Yeah. Doing, yeah. So that must be nice. It will be nice. We start on Tuesday, so um, I haven't had the opportunity to work with the ladies just yet, but. I'm really excited. The, the opportunities I had last season to work with them were so much fun. I mean, they're both very different. And we never had a scene, all three of us together, but, you know, it's, I mean, not even just them. Everyone I get to work with is great. And it sounds like, like a, an after-school special, but it's <laughs> I love my co-stars. They're very, very different. That was one of the things that I absolutely loved about the first season is I am a huge fan of movies. But the relationship between her and Cole never really felt as real as you guys have managed to get on the show. Thank you. And it's not so much that, you know, the show gets more time. It's that within the first scene of the two of you, there was chemistry. So you play it so well. Thank you. Oh, that's very kind of you. I mean, working with Aaron is a real treat. And um, we have... We had a pretty drawn-on audition process, actually. And uh, I think that probably helped us going forward um, into shooting. We had to improv in our audition also, so getting a feel for the other person that that the other actor has created, not just what's on the paper. It comes across, I guess, when you improv, because it's, it's everything that you've developed within yourself and not what you're saying that people have written. So that was, and then just getting to work with him, he's a wonderful actor and he's a wonderful scene partner. So that's very helpful. And I like him a lot, you know? He's a good guy. Awesome, it shows. Thank you, thank you. So have you ever done anything in this genre before? Is sci-fi something that's new for you? And how do you, what do you bring to it? How do you come into this character having not done it? Um, I did one episode of Grimm. That's literally <laughs> the extent <laughs> of my... And she was the crazy murderer, and I got to do like this weird like morphine thing. Um, and that was strange and wonderful. Uh, yeah, other than that, I am totally new to science fiction. And a new fan to it also. It wasn't um, a genre that I was really familiar with, and I think I blame that largely on me not understanding it. It's so smart, and it's really creative, and I think I 
I, this sounds this sounds silly, but I was used to just kind of having things presented. You know, it is what it is, and not having to go down a journey with a character. And, yeah, exactly. Like like Barbara said, and now I'm. Aaron teases me because whenever we get interviewed and they ask about our favorite shows, I'm always the first to jump up. And I'm a huge Game of Thrones junkie, and so I'm totally in in on this now. Um, but yeah, it was new and. To answer the second part of your question, I didn't really have to delve too, too seriously into the science fiction of it because she was kind of the the pragmatist of the season, of the first season. Yes, a man appears and disappears in front of her eyes, and if it's any indication of how uh, unfamiliar I was when we were shooting that scene, the very first time we ever splintered in front of Cassie. They'd say it was so cold, too. It was like negative something degrees. We were shooting in Detroit. It was the middle of the night. I had a dress on, no pantyhose, nothing else on. I was freezing. And we wanted to get the scene over and done with. But I was so unable to suspend my disbelief. When we're doing the scene, I'm talking to him, and they go, okay, now freeze. Aaron disappears. Aaron walks off camera. And I would every single time follow him. <laughs> they were like, no, Amanda. <laughs> He's splintering. He disappears. And I go, oh, yeah, 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 gotta, 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 gotta. <laughs> and I follow him, and they were like, oh my god, it is so cold. Get it together here. But I mean, so it's taken me, it took me a little bit, I've had a little bit of a learning curve. But now when he disappears, I'm like, yeah, get out of here. I got it. We got it now. <laughs> cool, thank you. So, Cassie, uh, you going back to the present and time soon, or she stay in the future, in the season? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to make the last question the shortest answer. Um, Cassie. <gasps> Cass, sorry, and I apologize if I just had hummus breath when I did that. Um, Cassie has a big adventure ahead of her for the second season. Well, that's my question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.